How's it going guys? Welcome back to another episode of American Truck Simulator Survival Series. So we are in the middle of a delivery and sort of in the middle of the road. Um, and we are just outside of Pendleton and we are on our way down to Burns. Delivering a 16.3 ton harvester. And we've got about 200 miles to go. So we're going to hop in the truck and um, hit the road. Yep, that's not a gear. There we go. Beautiful. Alrighty. Build up a bit of momentum here, or a bit of speed, uh, before we move into into the actual lane. There we go. Righty. Uh, I think we're gonna make a fuel stop just on the other side of Pendleton here. Uh, so I need to remember to do that. I mean, we probably could do this entire journey. Well, yeah, we could actually do this entire journey easily without a fuel stop. So, you know what? We're just going to skip that fuel stop and carry on to the end. Because we've only got 190 miles to go. And um, we can still do another 715 miles on this tank of diesel. So, all good. Uh, so, yeah, I, I wanted to stop, but... You know what? We're not going to do that right now. Because it is a bit tricky with these oversized loads uh, to get in and out of the fuel stations. Oh, I'm doing 5 miles an hour over the speed limit, which is not good. Slow that down. Beautiful. Keep right. And keep right. apparently we're keeping right. There we go. That was the fuel station coming up that I thought I want to stop at. I mean, I might do it. We'll see. If it, if it seems easy enough to get in and out of there because sometimes right. it can be a little then bit tricky turn right. Turn right. all right we'll see only on half a tank of fuel but it'll be nice to fill up so we don't have to fill up on the next one nice Volvo uh, actually yeah that looks like there's quite a bit of room there so let's go in I mean might as well we're not in a rush here Actually, I just realized this is one of the smaller oversized loads. Um, I thought it was the one with the... Oh, jeez, we're running backwards. There we go. Handbrake. That's what they're for. Or parking brake. Um, I just noticed now that it's not the trailer with the extension, but at the back. So, yeah. These ones are... I mean, nothing, nothing special, really to drive around so all good i just for some reason thought this was the oversized one with the extension but at the back they can sometimes be a little bit tricky those ones in sort of the narrower uh, gas stations but with this one easy enough easy gas station easy trailer life's good Right, oh, this is a, a mill, logging mill, I think. Yeah. Some horses. I never liked horses. Well, let me rephrase that. I like horses. I don't like riding horses. Um, I never have. My sister, she loves them, though. Actually, she's got a horse. Actually, does she still have it? I'm not even sure. I think she does. Because um, she, she had a horse and then sold it and then she got a horse again and i don't know if she because she recently had a, a baby her first uh, baby so we're all very excited about that um but i th i think she said she might sell the horse um 
when she found out that she was going to have a baby because she can't obviously, well, she couldn't uh, ride the horse. So I, I don't know if she actually sold her on or not. It was a beautiful horse though. But yeah, my sister loves them. Uh, she absolutely loves them. Um, I never did. I like something, I, I mean, I like stuff like motorbikes and cars and sort of side by sides and quad bikes to a point. Uh, quad bikes are freaking dangerous, but I, I still like them. Um, but basically what it's about is if I step on a pedal or I pull a lever or something to stop, then I want the thing to stop. And if I hit a pedal or uh, turn a handle or something to accelerate, then I want it to accelerate. So basically my input is what that thing has, is going to do. So if I hit the brake, it's going to stop. If I hit the accelerator, it's going to go. I like that. With horses, it doesn't work like that. You kick a horse and he's going to decide, well, I mean, not like kick him like you would I don't know, kick someone, I, I don't freaking know, stop, don't kick people, or horses, I mean, you'd like, I mean, if you know anything about horse riding, you'll know you sort of tuck your heels in, and you sort of get them to go, um, with your heels, you sort of lightly kick them, um, I don't know, there's probably an official term for that, I don't freaking know, um, but basically, you do that, and then the horse has to sort of decide whether he wants to go or not, and sometimes they're quite stubborn, and then if you try and get them go, they rear up, and they throw you off, um, if if you're not sort of like holding on well enough um, and then the the big problem that's not the problem actually the, the big problem is if you pull on your is it called stirrups I think it's stirrups um, that you hold on to and sort of sear the horse with um, so basically the horse steering wheel and um, if you pull on those you're supposed to stop but that horse still has to decide whether he wants to stop or not now I don't like that I don't like if something that I'm driving um, has can decide whether he wants to do what I'm telling him to do. I, I don't like that at all. So, um, yeah. That's why I don't like riding horses. I like horses. I like looking at them and I like petting them and feeding them like um, those little sugar... Uh, what are they? Sugar cubes or whatever they are. I like that. But I don't like riding them. Because, yeah, I don't, I don't like it if I'm riding something and it's got a mind of its own and it can sort of overrule my my input and just go yeah no I'm not gonna stop we're just gonna keep going and you just sort of there along for the ride I, I don't I don't like that yeah so I, I don't know I don't know if it's I, f I forgot all of that I used to know I used to know all of these horse terms and I'm thinking stirrups is either the the steering wheel um, if you want to call it that, that is a spectacular view. Oh my goodness. Hang on. Jeez. Look at this. Oh my goodness. How cool is that? Wow. That is epic. That is epic. I love sort of like untouched land just nature how beautiful is that now that I would want to farm over there somewhere if all of that could be my farm oh I mean I'd be the happiest man alive that is beautiful that river and the scenery oh it's so good um what was I talking about? Yes, horses. Um, I think the stirrups is like the steering wheel, if you want to call it the steering wheel, the bit that you hold on with and turn left and right um, and brake. Um, yeah, I, I'm just going to call it a steering wheel. But I think that's the stirrups, I think. But I, I'm probably wrong. The stirrups could also be the part where you put your feet in. I used to know all of these things at some stage. But I, I can't remember it anymore. But anyway. You guys know what I mean. Or you probably don't. I, I don't know. It is what it is. Hello there. Mr. Police Officer. Um, yeah, that is that is beautiful. That view down there is amazing. I really, really like that. And so, 
Set rep. We are doing 53 miles an hour. In well, let's pop up to 12th gear. There we go. Um, we're yeah, yeah. So we're basically well breaking the law right now. So we need to slow down a little bit. Um, but we're hauling a harvester, a 16.3 ton harvester, uh, down to Burns, and we've got 112 miles to go. And yeah, so far we've had a pretty good trip. Can't complain about much. We've had some really nice scenery here, which is fantastic. I think, I think we might need to sleep before this thing is... I don't know. Uh, will we make it? We've got 104 miles to go. And we need to sleep in 3 hours and 48 minutes. And now I think we'll make it. I think we can sleep after this delivery. Yeah, because it's sort of coming up to night time anyway. So I think we'll do this delivery sleep and then take another look for another delivery. I think that's what we'll do. So that is all good. Oh, geez. That is an interesting color scheme for a tractor. And I've noticed a lot of tractors on this game is sort of that color scheme. Uh, that said something on a signboard and I couldn't read it. I was going a little bit too quick there. Well, I'm going the speed limit. I was just going too quick to read the signboard. Uh, but I think we're good. This is a very nice area though. There's some logging going on. I have to say, I kind of enjoy logging on Farming Simulator. It's kind of fun. Farming Simulator 19. The logging's pretty good. I don't do it often, but when I do it, it's it's fun. Very enjoyable. Left turn ahead. It does make a big difference when playing with the steering wheel and a joystick, though. Doing it with keyboard and mouse, it gets a bit tough. Especially when doing logging and operating the logging equipment. Turn left. It gets a little bit confusing and complicated I mean I'm sure if you practice enough you'll get used to it but I use a joystick and steering wheel and yeah it works very very well very well Nice little rest stop over here. Why are all those people standing over there? Just had to be having some random gatherings over there. Right turn ahead. So it looks like we're in a town, a little town here that's sort of like a no-name town. I did not see a name or a signboard or anything for this. Turn right. I don't th see anything on the sat nav. There's something over there that says yummy. I'm gonna take a wild guess here and say restaurant. Probably. Nice Audi. I like the Audi SUVs. I mean, they're not very good off road, but they're nice little. Nice little cars, especially the Q7. I mean, the Q7 has got a decent amount of space. Nice truck. Um, like I say, it's definitely not a not an off-road vehicle, but nice vehicle. Very, very nice, actually. I love those Q7s. And the Range Rover, of course. nice cars I'm trying to think now if there's any cars that I really really don't like like is there any car that I would rather not have at all like basically if someone offers me this car for free Will I say no? Off the top of my head, I can't think of anything that I wouldn't want. I just like cars. 
I mean, there's certain cars that I won't buy. Um, I wouldn't go out and buy one. But, um... I don't know. I don't think there's any car that if I was offered that car for free that I wouldn't take. I don't know. I mean, probably after a while of having something like... I don't know, I'm thinking... Uh, older, like, Ford Icon or something. They were pretty uncomfortable. Pretty ugly. Uh, or the older Hyundai... Um, was it an Accent? Hyundai Accent, I think it was. Those were pretty ugly vehicles. But I mean... I'd still drive it for a while. I don't know how long for, but... I'd probably still drive it. I think something that'll be really fun to do is if you live on a farm... And you can get your hands on... An old Mini. Like, I would love to... I think I spoke about this at some stage, at some episode. Um, can't remember which one though. But I would love to one day buy a Mini and completely restore it. That'd be fantastic. But something else that I would like to do is buy a Mini that is sort of beyond restoration. Um, but sort of give it a second life. If I had a farm, then I would buy a Mini. Like, something that you just know, this thing is never going to be on the road again. Um, as long as the chassis is good and the engine is okay. Because uh, you can put in a, a different engine quite easily in those things. Um, but as long as the chassis is good, then, well, at least sort of good. Then I'll get something like that and I'll just cut the roof off. I'll literally just cut the roof off and I'll try and lift the suspension a little bit. I'm not 100% familiar with the suspension setup on a Mini. Um, but you might be able to lift it a little bit and possibly cut the fenders and put some bigger wheels on it. You might need some adapters um, to fit the, because I think they've got like, what, 13 inch wheels, uh, maybe 12 inch. Damn, maybe even 10 inch. I'm not sure. Um, I think it's 13 inch wheels on those things, but it might be smaller than that. Uh, so you might need some adapters to make maybe a 15 inch fit and make like a little, I would leave the windscreen but cut everything else off the roof and take the windows out of the doors and cut the door frames um, cut all of that the door window frames and all of that cut all of that out and make like a, a convertible mini and um, make like a little off-road thing I would put the biggest tires I can basically fit on it maybe even like quad bike tires like uh, decent sized quad bike tires on a mini that'll be fra that'll be awesome I mean that would probably be a good idea is have some adapters made so you can fit quad bike tires, like a decent size um, knobbly quad bike tire. Uh, okay, we need to take a bit of a wide turn into here. Um, but yeah, a good size quad bike tire on a mini and cut off the roof and just make the whole thing, you know, like a little off-road buggy and paint it like a like a sandy brown color or maybe some camo or something like that and just have a nice toy to run around the farm with i mean if you really want to put some time into it you could probably put a motorbike engine in it and convert it to rear wheel drive that would be immensely fun i mean even if you could maybe i'm not sure how that would work but you could maybe use the normal engine the like a 1275 mini engine and convert it to rear wheel drive but i think that'll be pretty tough to do i think the easiest thing would be to like make a custom uh, rear axle and do a chain drive a chain drive on a motorbike engine like get a thousand cc or 600 cc honda or something maybe a yeah, honda cbr engine or something like that and um, do a chain drive rear wheel drive convertible off-road mini that would be so much fun i mean it would be fun as just a front wheel drive normal mini type thing but oh my goodness rear wheel drive with a thousand cc 
motorbike engine in it that i mean that would be epic absolutely epic so if you've got any ideas of anything that you have ever thought about doing with a car let me know in the comments below like i'm pretty sure next to us here someone took the back end of a pickup truck and converted it into a trailer that's what that looks like which is kind of cool that's exactly what i'm talking about just doing something different so yeah if you've got any crazy ideas like what i just sort of explained um let me know let me know in the comments below i'd love to find out what you guys think or what you guys have thought of doing with um with cars or if you've done something like that then let me know i mean i'd love to love to know what you've done with cars but even if it's just an idea let me know Right, that should be good. There we go. Um, I just noticed our reverse lights don't work. Um, I'll need to look into that. I think that's a setting. Alrighty, anyway. Um, why have we got our wiper blades on? It should be good. Handbrake on. Disconnect. Beautiful. There we go. 236 miles. That was a fun little trip. I'm glad we got that harvester. I was very excited when I saw that. Good. Right, let's have a quick look at the freight market. But I think we need to sleep before we can take anything. Uh, there's another harvester that needs to go up to the Dales. And, but that expires in four hours. And there's some silica and a wheel loader and some good stuff but i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna sleep first because we need to sleep in exactly an hour's time and um then we'll look into what jobs are available out of here but that is gonna be it for today guys so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode if you did make sure to smash that like button and i will see you all next time